Hello, I'm Tony from AIMSEC and we're going to make some tangrams and we're going to see lots of different ways in which um, we can have fun with them, puzzles and maths. Okay, tangrams. You'll need a sheet of paper and, uh, it's you, and also scissors, pencil and a roller. Now, it's easy to make your tangram. So you need to make a square and to do that you fold this corner over to the edge and make sure that you go, your fold goes from that corner so, and this edge is touching and that's your first fold. And then you need to cut along this line. Now you have to do that very carefully and when you do that you get a square. I've already got one to start off with and so here we go. So this is my square that I'm going to start with. Now I need to find the centre, do an, a fold from here to here that just enables you to mark that centre. So what you do is you bring those two corners together accurately and then you just mark the center without doing a complete fold. Now, once you've got the center, you're going to bring that fold to the center and make a fold along there. So now I have got my first piece of my tangram and we have got a triangle here. And so I'm going to mark that for my, and, and then cut it off. Triangle. Okay, now the second thing you want to do is to now fold, where you started to fold before, you're now going to do this in earnest and make this fold and cut along it. Now, the reason we didn't do the whole fold before was that I didn't want the piece that I've just cut off to be folded. You'll see, you probably can see here, there's a trapezium and there's two triangles. So I'm going to cut those triangles off next. Okay, so I'm going to mark these two fold lines to make it easier to get the cut. One hand I've got a two triangles that I'm going to separate and here I've got the trapezium. And now I've just cut these. Right, so now I've got three triangles and what do I do with this? We're going to fold that corner to this, this Corner, which was the centre originally, and that is going to be my next piece. Okay, and here we go. I will go mark that again. Now here I want a square and a triangle, and in order to do that, I just fold this over here. This vertex goes to the centre there. Make a fold here. And now I'm going to mark it. What you'll see is we've got a parallelogram, a triangle, a square, and another triangle. Now we'll cut those out. Well, now we've got our tangram, our pieces. Go to mathstoys.org. You'll find a template for making one, but I expect you've been brave and adventurous and you've used my folding method and you've made your own. Now, you should have seven pieces. What have you got? You've got big triangles. You've got a medium-sized triangle. You've got smaller triangles. And this shape. Now this shape has got those two edges are parallel and those two edges are parallel. This one and this one. That's called a that's called a parallelogram. And what's this? 
friend, a good friend. You all know what this is. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is to, and to pause it. If you pause the video, you can time to do this. You can make a list of what you notice about these shapes. What are the similarities? What are the differences? What angles can you see? What about the lengths of the edges? Anything else that you notice about these shapes? And if you've got them like I have, cut up, spread out, can you put your square back together again? That's maybe a bit hard. Do you remember how it was, how you cut your square up? So try, and try all those things now. Now, there are a few puzzles you can try, and many, many puzzles that you can uh, do with tangrams, but just a few, just a few for now. Do you remember at the beginning, you saw a picture of a boat and a little man running? Can you make the boat with your pieces? You've got to use all seven pieces. Can you make the little man running with your pieces? Okay, that's a big challenge. Now, as well as that, if you manage those, there's some more challenges for you. Can you make a rectangle? You've made the square, can you make a rectangle? Can you make a bigger triangle than any of these? Just one big triangle with all these seven pieces. And the last challenge, can you make a pentagon? Now a pentagon has five edges and this pentagon, the edges are going to be different lengths. So that's the biggest challenge of all. So the little mat, the boat, the little man, a rectangle, a big triangle and a pentagon. Have a go. Go to mathstoys.org for more videos, follow-up learning and lots more activities.